So first of all, there are Relic Tier 4 Accessory and Ancient, right? Um, the Relic ones you can get from the dailies of 1640 raid, like, you know, um, Chaos Dungeon, Guardian Raid, and also from, like, you know, any 1640 weekly content, uh, including the normal A-Gear. Ancient Accessory you can get from 1680 Hard Mode A-Gear, and also from the field boss, if your level is 1680, if your level is lower than 1680, then even if you defeat the field boss, you get relic accessory. And later on, when you guys get the Braille raid, uh, then you will get 1680 dailies as well, and these also gives you ancient accessories, as you see. Whenever you hone from this NPC, let me get back to these options a bit later. Whenever you hone, you can hone up to 3 times on each of the pieces, so 15 times, right? 5 times 3. You get more arc passive points, like, precisely, um, it's called something like Wisdom Point or like Enlightenment Point, this second tab right here. So how many points do they give? If you see this front digit, um, this is the part that varies with quality. If you have at least 67 quality, which I said earlier, then you get plus 4 on necklace, plus 3 on earrings, and plus 3 on ring. And from here, if you hone 3 times, then the necklace become plus 10. Earrings give up to plus 9, rings give up to plus 9 as well. So how many is the total if you have 5 relic pieces of accessories? 46. Ancient is also the same uh, when you have at least 67 quality, as you see. But when you hone, it gives much more point. Necklace up to plus 13. Earring and ring each plus 12. So what's the total output? 61. And that gap of point between 61 and 46 determines if you can invest on the last main node or not. You need 24, 24, 24. So 72 points in total to unlock the fourth line. Let's see how many points you can get with relics. So you get 46 from fully honed five pieces of relic, right? 46. And every combat level from plus 51 to 70, it gives you one point. Combat level plus one per from 51 to 70. There you go. So plus 20 from here, that's 66, right? And lastly, from some horizontal stuff. Uh, this one is something that you can't get. This one is cruising north 70%. It gives you plus 3. Okay, plus 3. And this one is Unatesque Reputation in cruising north. So plus 3 again, that's 6. And last one is plus 5, which can be got, which can be obtained from the cruising north field boss. And this one, even though it's RNG, it has an artisan, like, you know, ceiling. On the 18th field boss, so basically six weeks, because each week you get three times of field boss, you guarantee drop this plus five enlightenment point. That's how it worked in KR. Like, maybe for West, something better might happen, right? Like, anyways. So five, three, three, that's 11, right? So 46 from accessory, 20 from combat level, being level 70 then that's 66, right? And 11 from the horizontals. So that's 77, which I have, right? Now, if you see here, um, it requires 72, and there's only five points left, right? If I don't invest on this like that, right? I cannot invest on my main point, main node, because it requires eight points, as you see. So you do not have enough points to unlock the fourth line. That is why you can unlock it when you have a full ancient accessory which gives you a plus 61 right and um what level do you have to be in for ancient accessory 1680 spam noted there's one more thing that i didn't say karma system this one you see this button right here this is a new system that comes out with bro shaza raid and uh, um it's a basically it's a gold sync system and if you like, you know, succeed, like, you know, a certain time of the honing here on the karma system, you get some point from it. What level can you do this? From 1670, which is normal Bro a uh, level. So this is a later thing, which will eventually allow you to reach fourth line, even though you're not 1680 with full relic accessory. Spam noted. Whatever class you play, you want this one, two, three, all of these to have the max point. 
because this is the class engraving part. If you don't have a three point on this last node, this third one, it means you're pretty much gonna do less damage than your current tier three. Whenever you hone, like three times, right? Whenever you hone, you get random options that are being seen here. Uh, there are 10 kind of options, and each of the options consists with blue, purple, and legendary option. And of course, like, you know, when it goes higher to legendary, it's bigger. Now, among these options, eight options are not good. And only two options are good. So we call that two primary options. The two primary options on each of the accessories are different. Here we go. Tier four accessories. Necklace, the two primary options are outgoing damage percent and additional damage percent. Earring, attack power percent, weapon power percent, and ring, crit rate and crit damage. TLDR, whenever you do the gamble by clicking this, by paying some amount of the fragment, which can be obtained by dismantling the tier 4 accessories, and also like by paying some amount of gold, you do the gamble, and you have a chance to get those like primary options if you're lucky. You cannot get same options out of the three. So this is an official Lost Ark site, which revealed the probability for getting these options. You see here, necklace option, additional damage, which is one of the primary options I said, right? A blue one, 6.3% to get. Purple one, 3% to get. And legendary, 0.7% to get. And if you add these three figures, it's exactly 10%. The outgoing damage to enemy, like same. Earring, the attack power percent and weapon power percent are the two primary, same. Ring, crit rate and crit damage, the two primaries, same. Whenever you click the honing, then it requires more fragments. And by the way, whenever you do the honing, the requirement of the fragment increases. For the relic, um, first honing, 10 fragments. Second, 20. And third line, 30. So that's 60 in each piece. Ancient requires 75 on the first honing. Second line, 150. And third line, 225. And by the way, this amount for ancient is a lot. This fragment that you can get by dismantling the accessories are bound to character. That is why what you pretty much want to do is that you farm the tier 4 accessories from doing tier 4 dailies and you send all of them by using the mailing feature to your main character. And from that main character, you dismantle them. And that's how you funnel the fragment. But you can only send 20 accessories each day because there's a limitation per day, right? Let me show you how many fragments that you get by dismantling the accessories. When you dismantle the relic accessory that's not honed at all, you get only one fragment. So spam kek W. You can also dismantle the honed accessory. So when the relic is honed one time and you dismantle four fragment, two time, 12 fragment, three time, 24. So like compared to how much it requires for honing, apparently it gives less when you dismantle. Ancient Dismantle, um, 3 Fragment when it's not honed, plus 1, 30, plus 2, 90, and plus 3, 180. Some of you guys might ask me this. How about you buy the honed accessories and then dismantle just to get the fragments? Don't do that, guys. It is very bad, okay? Do not do that kind of stuff. As you see, the efficiency is very low. You do not want to do that. I mean, maybe like if you're an Omega Whale who doesn't like, you know consider the efficiency, maybe you can do that, but don't do it, guys, yeah. Even with, like, you know, mailing 20, you know, fragments per day, it's still gonna take a long, like, you know, time to hone all five pieces. So another thing that you can do is, from the auction house, you can buy the tier 4 accessories that are already honed. You can sell or buy the tier 4 accessories that are already honed. You can. There are, there's a three times of trade limit. And every time, like, you know, you sell or buy, the trade, like, you no know, falls, right? If I give you an example, you buy something that's already honed with the best option. Does that make sense? So, crit rate, the best. If I do it, 
spam cac w very expensive right you don't need the highest you know uh figure for a primary option you can clear any content even the braille even though like koreans are saying it's really hard you don't need the highest uh figure okay my recommendation on a character that you are that you actually want to play is you try to buy the mid roll see mid one the the purple and it says 20k well that's like way better than the previous one right and you buy it and of course it requires fion is 35 each keg w and then you Go here with the accessory and hone the rest of the two. Spam noted if you understood. By doing that, what's the advantage? Number one, at least you have a mid row of a primary option. And number two, you save fragment. The characters that are sitting on 1660 or something, for them, um, honestly, like I don't think you need any of these. Like you can just, you know, like roll organically. Um, it's the ancient that matters. Stay Giga Chat. Spam noted.